Now to Occupy Toronto. You know a judge issued an injunction last night preventing the city from evicting the protesters from St. James Park. Well, today the fire department moved in. CTV's Austin Delaney is downtown at St. James Park. Austin. Hi, Ken. A relatively calm day here at the park compared with yesterday when officials from the city were slapping eviction notices in all the tents and that last-minute reprieve from the courts. Well, today they had a visit from the fire department here at the park. They were looking through the tents, poking around, searching for things that could be dangerous. Uh, this is what they found, a pile of old tires. The protesters say the tires were dropped off here to uh, go underneath the bed so it wouldn't be so cold at night. The fire department sees it all differently. The tires could be used to be set on fire in the event that uh, things get out of hand when the police try to evict them, or possibly if the police try to evict the protesters. So the tires were removed today. Now, if this is any sign how long they'll be here, check this out. This is a guy who's uh, putting uh, some... Christmas decorations on his camp. And of course, there was also a meeting with the, uh, with the folks over at the cathedral who say they hope this ends peacefully. Now, this brings us to Saturday. That's when a judge will decide whether or not the, uh, the, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms trumps those trespass, those bylaw laws that we have in Toronto. The arguments will be on Friday in court. We'll be there to report on them and the decision as well. Reporting live, I'm Austin Delaney.